That is a fancy car. That is the brand new Land Rover Defender. Hi, my name is Mike and I am about to take you guys on the ultimate social distancing experiment, something that I've been wanting to do for a long time with my girlfriend Carla, who's inside the car over there, getting ready. Yesterday we drove from Cape Town to the Matrosberg Nature Reserve just to get out into the side of the world so that we don't have to spend too much time driving, well, driving on tar roads. The adventure starts today and we're going to be hitting as many dirt roads, as many dirt passes as we can possibly find for the next five days. We're going to be heading from here into Tanqua, into Cedarburg. We are going on this crazy adventure to go and find as little people as possible and to find some incredible trails to go running on because I love to head out into the mountains as much as I possibly can as a trail runner and there are so many places out on this side that I have yet to explore. So let the adventure begin. I hope you guys are going to enjoy it. Let's go. You. Shots of this car. Brand new Defender is incredible! Finished up in Matrosberg and we are now going to head into series because we need to put some fuel in the car and then we're going to head into the Tanqua Karoo. Oh man, the place that we're going to be camping tonight. Wow. Anyway, let's go to the series right now and let's go get some petrol. And we'll catch up with you guys a little bit later. The car is spotless. Leo, dude, you are a legend. Thank you very much. Put one of those. If you guys are ever in series and you need somebody to help you out, Leo is your boy. Thanks, man. See you again, eh? All right. Now that we have that done, it's time to head off to the Tanko Karoo. Phew. Let's go. place to do it than right here where there's absolutely nobody. <laughs> exactly, no better place than the Tanko Crew where there's absolutely nothing, not even a petrol station. <laughs> So we arrived at Apollo Tented Camps. Man, we've been treated tonight. Instead of camping, these guys said to us, there's nobody here at their tented camps because it's Sunday evening. And they gave us a choice of like every single one of these really cool tents that are around you. So we are sleeping in luxury tonight, even though we are on an adventure. It's still a tent though. It is it's still, still a tent, tent technically, but it's beautiful. And I think we're going to get some amazing photographs tonight of the stars because there's no clouds tonight. It's a lot warmer than it was last night. Yeah, a lot warmer. It's and pretty dark outside. And this is the shared accommodation kitchen and bar, but it's all for us tonight. Good morning guys, just walked up this little hill and came to check out the sunrise which is going to be happening really soon. Slept in one of those last night, it was insanely epic. There's the car, did some star shots, 
Here comes Mike. What an epic place. All right, I got myself together. I got myself a little Red Bull. And I'm going to go and hit the road and see if I can push through to get a little 5k in before we hit the road. Whew. Adventures in the Defender to adventures on my feet. Let's go. In my other happy place on the trails. Oh wow, I say. That was fun. Man, I can't wait to go on an adventure in this thing again. Let's go get charred up and ready. Let's get out. We are all packed up. It's amazing how much space this car has oh. because we have so much stuff. Sad to be leaving Apollo the crew behind. It was epic. Yo, last night was flipping cool, hey? Wow vibing hard over here yeah. but no it's time for adventure we're gonna go up Oberg Pass and into Sutherland refuel and then head to Hanukkah Pass and then yeah I will show you guys what we get up to it's gonna be epic, epic. Ah! That's where we currently are on Oberg Pass and we are going up a mountain and I've just engaged four low by the push of a button. Whew, wow, this is incredible man, what the hell? I've never been up a dirt road pass like this while well, not in a very long time at least. When the storm is raging in your head. We are almost at the top of Oberg Pass and there's a viewpoint over here. I had to stop and get out to come and have a look because wow, where we've just come up from right now. Wow. Incredible. Okay, we made it to the top of Ogar Pass and uh, now we are on our way to go to Sutherland to go and refuel. This was just stupidly beautiful. Wow! If you've never done Ogar Pass and you've got a 4x4, head out to Ogar Pass and go up it. It's incredible. Or go down. Next time I come this way, I'll probably go down and try what it's, uh, see what it's like going down. But going up was amazing. It was really fun. We actually did not have enough time to do Hanukkah Pass today because we had to be at our campsite before 4 because we have to pay at Tanqua National Park and uh, now Google Maps has given us this crazy route where we had to like lift a chain which we didn't know about It's so fun though, we're sliding all over the place and the sand is so soft over here This is like crazy terrain, it looks like lunar scape, the wind is blowing, the weather is completely changed this is proper adventuring because we have no clue where we are going. Hopefully it's the right place. <laughs> we have zero signal. Like, it's insane. After a long day of driving, we finally made it to the Tankwa Karoo National Park. After getting our camp set up, we sat down, had a gin and tonic at the back of the car, and then it started raining. And it did not stop raining until the next morning. What's up guys, it is Tuesday and we are in the Tanqua Karoo National Park. We just stopped over here to get a couple of shots because the car looks so beautiful with those mountains and the windmill and everything over here. This entire place is just like, there's absolutely nobody here. I've really had one of the best times social distancing in some really, really epic areas of the Western Cape and in the Northern Cape because we came through to the Northern Cape yesterday. Today we're heading off to the Cedarburg. I'm excited because uh, hopefully there's going to be some stars out on that side. Uh, we've been a little bit unlucky with the stars for the last couple of days because of the weather. Um, but if we get some stars out in the Cedarburg, it's going to be pretty awesome. Let's hit the road and we will see what we see along the way. <laughs>
or the top of Kanaka Pass and I gotta say it is freezing! <laughs> so cold here. Yeah. Anyway, we're gonna get back into the car over here. We're gonna go to a place called the Kanaka Lodge now and we're gonna go and have some hot chocolate or something just to warm us up. But sure, adventure. When we got to the Kanaka Lodge, they were actually closed. So no hot chocolate for us and we were forced to head back down the pass again and start heading through to the Cedarburg. Little did we know we were gonna find a portal to Mars on the way. Hey guys, seriously though, check this out. How insane. This is definitely rooftop shot. Worthy. Incredible. What is this even? Wow. more gates to open I can't like even tell you guys how many gates I've opened on this trip so many always close bottom gates come to a river and now we can't get to the other side so we have no idea what to do Well, I have to take off my shoes because I need to put on some shorts and go see how deep this river is because we might have to do a river crossing. <sighs> I need to see how deep this is. I hope that we can get the car across here, otherwise we are lost. <laughs> Alright, let's hope that we can go get, actually get through here because yeah, I don't know. Whoa, it's a bit Whoa, don't stop. Alright, so the farmer actually came down because uh, we were hooting to see if we can get across here. I wasn't going to just try and do it. And um, he said no. Unfortunately, the big storm that hit Cape Town a few weeks ago brought all this water and. Yeah, and apparently it was even above my head. The water was coming down, slowed down quite a bit now, but still it comes up to around about over here. And there's some big boulders in there. So we have to head all the way back to the R355 and then head off towards um, Calfinia, but then take a shortcut to Dwellingbos and that's gonna take us off to the tower again. So here we go. So the river that we were stuck at was around about over here and the farmer told us to drive up this road, hang a left, and then hang another left to head down to the Pakes from there. Unfortunately, we did not have enough fuel, so we had to drive all the way from here up to Calfinia, which is about 100 kilometers away, fill up, and then jump onto this route all the way back down to Pakes again, which is another 135 kilometers away, adding on 250 kilometers to our day. So the river that we were not able to cross ages and ages ago, we are finally able to cross it on a bridge. Side, there was probably like this much space on each side of the tires because this is quite a fat car and that was a very thin bridge. <laughs> at least we made it over the river this time. Yeah, at least we made it over the river. Alright, next stop. Fuck ice. And we made it. Can't even see anything. So dark. Good morning guys and welcome to the Pakes, which is at the bottom of Pakes Pass. After yesterday's adventure where we kind of got slightly lost and had to do a two hour detour all the way through to Calfinia to get some fuel and then to come here. Uh, we woke up, it's pretty cold. Today we are going to make our mission from here into Clan William, get a little bit more fuel, get some more supplies and then we are heading to our last place for the evening uh, well, for this adventure and it's into the Cedarburg Mountains, oh man. The Cedarburg Mountains is like the moon in some places, but the actual shape of the mountains is just ridiculous. Anyway, 
let's get ourselves together and then we're gonna hit the road and we'll take you guys along for the rest of this adventure. Yew! Celtics and Clam William over here and I've got these guys over here. What do you guys think of the brand new Land Rover Defender? Marvelous. Solid. So what is it? Solid. It's good, it's good. Good, it's good. Very marvelous. Yo, let's go. <laughs> After having a luck with the guys from the Celtic petrol station, we doubled back the way that we had just come and made our way through to the Bidot Valley. As we were going down Hooksabad Pass, we realized that the spring flowers were in full blossom. So we took that Defender, turned some heads, and we made it the most beautiful defender that the Bidot Valley had ever seen. Once Colin and I were done playing around in the flowers, it was time to head out of there, offload some footage in the car and make our way through to Oasis, a little biker place we were going to go spend the evening. Yeah, I know, we were taking a Land Rover Defender to a biker place, but this place is super rad and they accept all types of adventurers. Before we could get to Oasis though, we had to pass through the little town of Vipratal along with all of its traffic. Yep, we found some crazy African traffic along this bridge and this sheep didn't want to move out the way so I had to literally follow them across the bridge, wait for one of them to casually scratch its butt before we could actually move on. After the traffic jam was sorted out, it was time to go and tackle Yeselbank Pass. Now, Yeselbank Pass is a crazy mountain pass in the middle of the Cedarberg Mountains. It's 10 and a half kilometers long, all dirt road, pretty sketchy in some sections, and really steep. Oh, it's only a single lane road as well, so if you're going up and there's another car coming down towards you, you have to wait for that car to reverse up to an area where it's safe enough for two cars to pass. Being in a big fat Land Rover Defender didn't make it easy, but we managed to get past this car just okay with some sweaty palms from holding onto that steering wheel super tight and a lot of adrenaline pumping through our bodies. We have pretty much landed the brand new Defender on planet Mars, I think. Right? Crazy. It's ridiculously crazy. It's so epic up here. The incline coming up here was, it was steep. Anyway, now it's time to go down and I think it's going to be just as adventurous and now in some soft sand. Shouldn't be a problem for the Defender. What do you skim? Can't wait. Yo, let's go. So you're going to swap the Disco for a brand new Defender? It seems that I don't need to. Eh? Because <laughs> <laughs> we're meeting each other here. Yeah. <laughs> After another great day of adventuring, Colin and I were pretty knackered. So we found our tent at the Cedarburg Oasis, we unpacked, and we head off to the bar to go and chill out for the rest of the evening. Okay, well we got to the parking lot. I thought we were going to actually drive to the Maltese Cross itself. That uh, little road to get here was quite far. But it was all part of the adventure. Now we are going to get changed into our hiking clothes and off to the Maltese Cross we go. Another 
planet. I think it's called Mars. Cedarburg. Mars is Cedarburg, same thing already. But yo, this is so beautiful. <laughs> This the last remnants of snow. Crazy, right? Wow. It's crazy. Guys, we found the Maltese crust. Oh, look at it, it's huge! And it's got two bats behind it. It looks incredible, wow! Yeah. We just finished up at the Maltese Cross. That was pretty damn epic, that's for sure. Now we are going to be heading back to the car and jumping in the car and heading back to Cape Town. I think this adventure is about to be finished off. It has been a pretty wild one. What do you got to say, Maya? It's been epic. Yo, it's been epic, eh? Anyway, let's head back to the car. It's about 4Ks from here. And then we are going to drive over a couple of epic places to get through to the tankway again. And then we're going to hook a right into series and then back to Cape Town. Wow, I don't want it to end, but it has to. Anyway, let's go and enjoy the last little bit of it in the... Land Rover Defender, which is really proved to be such a beast of a car. Colin, well done. Maltese Cross, done. And uh, you seem to have a friend over here as well. This guy came and parked right next to us. <laughs> How cool is this? You got the two Defenders chilling side by side. That's pretty cool. Younger brother looks way more cooler. <laughs> So, hike done, it's time for lunch. What are you cooking up, Chef Mike? Tuna noodles, yum yum. Yo, that's Shit. fancy. Super fancy, I'm starving, man. <laughs> <laughs> With the Maltese Cross hike done, food in our bellies, it was time for Colin and I to make our way back to Cape Town. Back to reality. Yeah, I know. Back to the new normal. Cars around, people, everyone wearing masks, sanitizing your hands before you go into shops, all those things. All those things that I don't really enjoy about the urban environment. What I do love though is being out in the outdoors. And this adventure has taught me one thing, that the Land Rover Defender is definitely capable of great things. After exploring some of the most incredible mountain passes, finding portals to Mars, running around in the tank were, and just having the best time with my favorite person in the whole wide world, Colin. Wow, this was a great adventure. Thank you very much to Land Rover, and of course a huge thanks to GoPro, because without them, this video wouldn't have been filmed. Until the next adventure, guys, never stop exploring. Ciao, ciao.